want to give you guys a dinar prophecy update concerning the dinar it just my overall feelings about what's going on with currencies and the dinar and there's a lot of focus still on you know when the dinar is going to revalue and right now I'm at a point where as far as that information and just looking at everything um, I'm trying to put myself into position to where eventually down the road I can buy more dinar but I still think we have a lot I think we still have some time and there are several things that to me that are the triggering moments to the dinar right and especially dealing with Kim Clement but before anything you know folks I just tried to look at this I'm, I'm not associated with the Kim Clement ministry or anything like that I just broadcasting what I'm seeing what I'm feeling or what I'm feeling led to believe or think or say and we've seen all this turmoil with all these prophecies and then you have other ones like the two presidents prophecy and which I will get into I'm still not done with that folks but you know I received a pretty big backlash and you know there was a lot of uh, hurtful comments that were made so I am making the video I just want to make sure that you know I present the information I'm just presenting information whether you guys like it or not I can't help that but you don't always have to shoot the messenger you know one of the things is is what I've said before you know not every prophet or anybody you're gonna agree with a hundred percent but I guarantee that if you had a prophet that was prophesying to you about which stocks are gonna go up uh, and they were whether they were five out of ten or nine out of ten you're gonna go with them every time because you know at least half the time he's gonna be right and we don't judge our whole lives or everything based off of prophecy and I do this channel so that you so that we can see we can try to get a step ahead uh, when these prophetic things do happen but I do believe one of the triggers and you know we thought we we got to that point and that was the when things seem at their worst and something to do with and also an event related to Iran Spirit of God is speaking now over the region of Iraq, over the region of Iran, over the regions of the Middle East and Southern, Southern Asia. The earth is shaken and shall shake again. But God said, I am speaking that I may release resources and there will be a grave surrender that will take place in the months to come. I want to free you, every one of you, my people, to be able to stretch out their hand to the lonely, to the hungry, to the poor, and feed them and clothe them. This is my desire, says the Lord. Therefore, there shall be a break in the financial system in the Middle East, the Dinar, and many shall say, why? Why now? But God said, when things seem at their worst, I shall bring it forth and I shall free them up. There shall be a prosperity in a place where you least expect it. The prayers of my people in Iran and the prayers of my Christian people that come forth from Iraq and from Palestine. Yes, Palestine. And even those regions, I will hear their prayers and I will do something marvelous and will affect this nation, says the Lord. You put your hand in the hand of Iran, I say to you, I will remove the hand of America out of the hand of Iran, says the Lord. And I will free up my people for the promise is yes and amen. So that's number one. That's the number one thing. And we and when things seem at their worst, and I've discussed this multiple times, you know, is it worse for Iraq or worse for the world? And I think that when we start connecting the dots, that it's more likely a worldwide event and so we have not seen those things dealing with Iran and when things seem at their worst otherwise the dinar would re would have revalued you know Kim Clement said there'd be nothing 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 and then sudden change okay hasn't been time
has meantime sudden change. So for those that are, are investing, I cannot tell you to, 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 to do this or purchase them. But for those that are holding on, uh, nothing, 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 and then suddenly something. Okay. Don't hold too tight onto gold. I'm not an economist. Trust me. But I hear the word of the Lord sometimes. Don't rely too much upon it. God is opening other doors as well. Don't forget to look at the tree. Don't forget to look at the oak tree. That is also a symbol that God spoke of. Don't tell me there's no reward in serving God and taking a chance and stepping out of the boat and using your faith. God loves. He spoke to me about that shout. For getting patient. We want to know more. Let it unfold. Let it unfold. I just saw the denarii. People have written and asked me. Some of my dearest friends have written and asked me about it. And I've heard nothing at all. When I was sitting here, God said denarii. I, didn't, I couldn't even relate it to Iraq. And how nothing, 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 nothing. And then suddenly everything changes. Listen to these, these little truths that come out. Oracular intimations that God gives to you. And act upon it by researching Right, so we're still in the nothing phases. You know, and one of the what are the disappointments that uh, from the past administrations, regardless of whatever the plan is in the future, because God's plan, you know, supersedes anything that we think or hypothesize, especially dealing with the last uh, presidency. We didn't get to see everything that we thought that we would see in all that. The last one is, and it's, and you know, people have debated this, and it's, you know, Kim Clement Dow twenty thousand, and there are four prophecies surrounding this twenty thousand, and you have to really look at each one, and when you do look at each one, there's something a little bit different about each one. So, but the most important one, and this is the this is what I'm going to say. You know, a lot of times when it comes to biblical prophecy, especially the book of Revelation or in the book of Daniel, you do have to look at it from different perspectives, right? Uh, and we see that because there is symbolic talk, uh, and there's some that's more direct of what exactly it is. And then sometimes you have to take it literally. So what I'm going to say is that here in this, where he talks about, uh, where he says something about the, there was an email that went out and it said, this is what Kim Clement said. I spoke recently about the Dow at 20,000. All this connects to a massive breakthrough with regard to the dinar. Now, let's add to this another prophetic puzzle. Peace. Spoken on November 22nd, 2013. I'm just going to read it. In a email alert that Kim had sent out to all of us, he said, stated as follows, the Dow at 20,000 points, this is November 22nd, 2013, the Dow at 20,000 points, all of this connects to a massive breakthrough with regard to the dinar. Very interesting. Okay, so let's take that literally. The Dow will be at 20,000 literally at 20,000 exactly, and all this connects to a massive breakthrough with the regard to the dinar. So just taking it literally. So I, like I said, I'm just presenting that, that that's what exactly what it is because we saw, we, saw the, we saw the stock market go past, go up, and then go down. And when you do go back and you do look at the prophecies concerning the 20,000, in the prophecy from March 13, 2013, at least according to this database, that's the earliest one where he speaks about 20,000. And he says, 20, he says here, um, Sunel was sharing for the ninth day the stock market has reached record highs. And then Kim started speaking out 20,000. I'm hearing 20,000, 20,000. It will reach sooner than most people will think. I don't know what 20,000 is. All I heard was 20,000. It shall get to 20,000 people say it will take years and years the spirit says no it won't it'll be sooner than most people think it will be a shock 20,000 okay now in this specific prophecy he doesn't say anything about the dinar 
I'm thinking that this was actually a separate prophecy regarding the Tao itself. So I think a lot of people confuse this prophecy with other prophecies. Going to the email update on November 22nd, 2013. I spoke recently about the Tao at 20,000 points. All this connects to a massive breakthrough with regard to the dinar. Okay, so I think that if maybe this is a literal thing because we've seen it go back and forth across uh, across it. And the next prophecy that dealt with the 20,000 was February 22nd, 2014. Williams. I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed. Because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them. And the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said, This man will throttle the enemies of Israel. Now hear me please. The giant of death, the giant, the giants that have come, the brothers of Goliath, stand in glee watching America. We will cripple you. You will lose your credit. But God said, watch. I said 20,000. Look not to Wall Street. However, observe. And they shall say, what is your plan for this, this giant? And he will take a simple stone. Remember the name. And he will hold it up and they will laugh at him. But the plan is so brilliant, says the Lord. It could only have been given by me. <laughs> okay, so in this particular prophecy, on that particular day, right, he says here, the giant of debt, the giants that have come, the brothers of Goliath, stand in glee watching America. We will cripple you. You will lose your credit. But God said, watch, I said 20,000. Then he says, look not to Wall Street, however, observe, and they shall say, what is this plan for this giant? And he will take a simple stone, remember the name, and he will hold it up and they will laugh at him. But the plan is so brilliant, says the Lord, it can only have been given by me. Okay, so this is another one that a lot of people have trouble communicating or trying to explain so up here he first says he talks about the giant of debt right and how the how the brothers of goliath are watching in glee and how they're talking about crippling them but god said watch i said twenty thousand. look not to wall street however observe and then they say and, and then it says and then they shall say what is your plan for this giant and he will take a simple stone, remember the name, and he will hold it up and they will laugh at him. All right, folks. So in this one, in this particular prophecy here, he's talking about the giant of debt. And it says, but God said, watch 20,000. He said, but, but God said, watch. I said 20,000. Look not to Wall Street. However, observe and they shall say, what is your plan for this giant? So. What's the plan for the giant of debt? And it's not Wall Street, right? And he's talking about the simple stone, right? He will take a simple stone. That is the plan to take care of the debt. It will not be the dinar revaluation. But I would imagine that it's going to come maybe around that point in time is relating for, first of all, a sign. But it says, look not to Wall Street to basically take care of the debt. Because he asks up here, the giant of debt. But then it says here, but God said, watch. I said 20,000. Look not to Wall Street. What is your plan for this giant? And he will take a simple stone. This 20,000 is not related to take wiping out the debt. Right? The denial revaluation is not going to wipe out debt. It's going to wipe out debt for a lot of individuals. It might wipe out some debt for government, but in in the in the totality of the of the the amount of the trillions of what over 230 trillion dollars in world debt, you know, the United States is close to 30 trillion. 
so that in our revaluation, as profitable as it will be, uh, is not going to take out the debt. But he says, watch. He said, he said, twenty thousand. So we haven't we haven't got the simple stone yet. We haven't got the answer. They said they will laugh at him when he holds up a stone. So that point has not happened yet. And because he's before he's talking about his man, David, which we do believe who who that he is. And if you go up even further, they're talking about how to kill the giant of debt. So the 20,000 here has nothing to do with the dinar. He's just telling you, watch 20,000, but don't look to Wall Street to wipe out the debt. I think I'm at a, at a point now where maybe this is a literal thing. And where we are right now with with the Dow and where it's at, uh, the Dow's currently at 31,522. So, and maybe this is correlated with the 20,000 and when things seem at their worst, right? He said the dinar at 20,000 and when things seem at their worst. So, if you look at where the Dow is and it starts to drop and people are panicking and people are fearing, you know, that's going to seem like it's going to be really bad for the Dow to drop down that much. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the whole literal sense and just wait for it. So that's just me. That's my opinion. And just looking at the words and putting them in their proper place and making sure that with the whole thing with the 20,000 that we're not that that the associations with the dinar and the associations with other events. So I don't know, guys, tell me what you think. I just think that it's a. Uh, you know, we're at a point to where I'm the way I'm looking at it is that it's literally going to close at, out at tw at 20,000. I have went over videos and and I've shared links to Kim Clement's prophecies concerning uh, concerning this crash and that it's for a very short time. You know, so whenever this event takes place, he talks about the new system being being placed in almost overnight. And because it's a system that's already basically in the works, however God is doing it, it's going to be a system. That's why we. That's why Kim Clement also said nothing, 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 and then sudden change. Those are the signs that I'm looking for. And then I'm also looking at when things are really bad. I'm looking for those events, right? And by the time that the Dow hits uh, twenty thousand. Uh, that's when we're going to see this uh, re dinar revaluation uh, because there's no for me there's just no other explanation it's just a theory of mine but uh, that's what we're rolling with because it's been a while since the whole thing with the Dow going back and forth all right folks so anyways uh, so right now I'm not really too focused on what's going in 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 Iraq I'm focused on you know more or less right now on the stock markets and I'm trying to invest. I'm trying to uh, gain wealth so that I can go ahead and buy more dinar down the road because I still think we are some time off. Now, if I think if I start if I start to see that Dow start to slide down to 20,000, you know, then I'm going to have to make some moves to, you know, get some dinar because we don't know if this is going to be like a flash crash or is it going to be an event that's going to take, you know, a couple weeks to get back down to 20,000. Uh, but I'm also, too, just trying to focus on the stock market, and I'm learning a whole lot, and I'm learning way more information uh, that I've ever learned about trading in the stock market in the last three weeks than I did in the last year. And it's uh, helping me make more wiser choices. I'm learning how to do more and more research. So for me, so again, like I said, I'm looking for the signs. And I think that's a, a preparatory sign when we do see that. So, hey, maybe I do need to go ahead and order that Dow's at 21,000, right? <laughs> you, then at that point, you may very well want to go ahead and put in an order if you're just waiting for a sign or signs to show, hey, this will be the last moment that we can actually buy the dinar before it actually changes in value. And I think that's one of the most important things in this overall strategy and I'm not going to sit here and just keep buying dinar if it's not going to make me money right now. And I can put it into something else uh, that is going to make me money uh, right now so that I can take care of my bills and, uh, and also to be able to buy more dinar.
and put myself in a position where I can reach my total goal. You know, don't forget to visit the House of Destiny. Uh, check out the uh, Kim Clement website. You guys could do all your own research. You can type in the same keys and phrases and you can do your own research. That's why I tell you. So when you guys look, go look at these 20,000 and you break each one down, look at the language, look what he says, you know, you're going to get a better understanding of each particular 20,000 prophecy. At least that's what's at least with the information that we have here. Well, anyways, folks, I thank you guys for listening. God bless. With that being said, Twisted Christian out.